Hi guys, Alan Harding here, Head Chef for Gather and Gather at LinkedIn in Dublin. First thing I'd like to say to you all is a happy Paddy's Day. Hope you're having a great holiday. And on that note, we're bringing you a really nice dish to cook at home, finish off at home for two people. So with it being Paddy's Day, we thought of a traditional dish. So we thought of beef and Guinness stew, which we would often cook on LinkedIn for you guys. We call ten and mash and some nice organic greens. But we've, we've taken that dish and we've kind of changed it a little bit and we're using beef short rib. Beef short rib that we cook for 12 hours, taken off the bone, use some of the juices with some Guinness to reduce it down. And we've prepared our element of the dish for you. So for the equipment, you will need a baking tray, two medium pots, two small pots, and a frying pan, um, a slotted spoon if you have it, um, and a lifter or a fish slice for lifting the beef and lifting the leeks out of the pan. A potato masher or a potato ricer for making the mash. A knife, a small paring knife and a chopping knife for chopping some of the vegetables. Okay, so first job is turn the oven on to 180 degrees to get it nice and hot for our beef. So this dish should take about 30 minutes to put together with some of the elements that we have ready for you and some you're gonna finish off. In your box, you should have some potatoes, some wild mushrooms, some Riversfield Organic Farm, which is a farm we use down in Kilkenny, really nice Irish organic veg. So from Riversfield Farm, we have some kale, some purple sprout and broccoli, some kaleettes and some leeks. And also in your box, you should have some spring onions, a little bit of cream, a little bit of butter, your beef short rib, which we've discussed, and the nice red wine and Guinness jus. First job we're gonna do is peel the potatoes, dice them evenly, add them into a pot of water, add a bit of salt, put them onto the cooker, bring them up to the boil, simmer them for 10 or 15 minutes, checking halfway, after about 10 minutes yes. to see that they're nice and tender. Next job is place the beef in the oven. It should take about 10 or 15 minutes to do. And then we're going to prep our vegetables. So if we thinly slice the mushrooms, trim the ends off the purple sprout and broccoli, slice our spring onions, and peel the kale off the stalks, and then give all the vegetables a wash and drain. Once that's done, we're gonna start prepare, we're gonna start cooking our vegetables so that they're ready. We're gonna, first job takes the longest. We're gonna fill a pot of boiling water, add some salt, bring it to the boil, add your leeks in for five minutes. After five minutes, take them out, set them aside. Heat the pan, your frying pan, add a little bit of oil, add your mushrooms, fry them off for two or three minutes. Add a little bit of salt and pepper at the end and finish them with a little bit of butter. Next, we're gonna go over and check our beef to see that it's hot. You can check it by putting a knife, the tip of a knife into it and just leave it in there for five seconds. Take it out and test it. The top of the knife is nice and hot. Okay, so the beef is ready. Our mushrooms are cooked. We can add, we can now turn off the oven, add a couple of plates into the oven to warm them up. And now we're gonna use now the tray with the beef on in the oven to kind of keep all our elements warm while we cook, cook each veg. Okay, so add the mushrooms to the tray, put it with the beef, put it into the oven. Next, we're gonna pan fry the purple sprout and broccoli. This will take maybe 30 seconds. Just heat the pan, add a little bit of oil, add the purple sprout and broccoli, cook for it. 20, 15, 20 seconds both sides. Finish with a little bit of salt and pepper. Take out and add that to the tray with the mushrooms and the beef. Okay, next job, we're gonna check the potatoes. They're almost done. Another minute or two away. And then we're gonna, into a pot, we're gonna add, a, add our cream and our butter and we're just gonna heat that up. While that's heating up, we'll take our boiling water that we cooked our leeks in and we're gonna add the kale for 30 seconds. 
take that out with the slotted spoon, set that aside because that will go into our mash. Then we're going to add the kaolettes for 30 seconds. Once they're done, take them out with a slotted spoon, add them onto the tray with the mushrooms, the purple sprout and broccoli and the beef. And that's just in the oven then, nice and warm. Our cream and our butter is nice and hot now. Our potatoes are cooked. We're gonna mash the potatoes, add the hot cream and the butter. We're gonna take our kale. We're gonna slice that. We're gonna add in our, and add it into the mash. We're gonna take our spring onions and add that in. And I'm gonna check for salt and pepper. Okay, we're gonna set that aside, put a lid on top of it. So our final two jobs now are all our elements, our mash is done, our beef, our mushrooms, our purple sprout and broccoli is in the oven, nice and warm, our plates are warm. Take the other small pot, we're gonna heat up our jus, just warm it up, and now we're ready to plate up. Okay, so we're gonna take our plate, we're gonna put a piece of a spoon or a quenelle, a nice neat spoon of the cold cannon on the right hand side, just off right center, place the beef on top. We're gonna to drop our purple sprout and broccoli and our kaolettes around the, around the plate. Then we're gonna drop our mushrooms in and around, a couple on the beef, a couple on the kaolettes and the broccoli. Then we have our, our leek, we're gonna place alongside the mash on the right hand side. Then we have our jus, which should be just nice and warm now. We're gonna place a little bit of that over the top of the beef and around the plate. And then we're gonna finish off with our crispy, crispy onions on top. So that's our beef and Guinness stew with a little bit of a twist for St. Patrick's Day. I hope you really enjoy this dish. It's one of our favorites. Have a great day. Thank you.